in Europe, there is a long tradition to develop environmentally friendly technologies with testing fuel cells in the propulsion system of small and manned air vehicles. We have a solar panel made with the Spectrolab cells, very efficient cells, and the energy of the solar panels is used to break the water molecule to produce hydrogen that gets stored and compressed onto the aircraft so we have enough fuel for approximately eight to nine hours endurance. A fuel cell is a very efficient power source that produces heat, electricity and water from the electrochemical reaction of an antioxidant. In this particular case, the fuel is hydrogen and oxygen from the air. So a fuel cell is almost like a battery, but it creates electricity rather than just storing electricity. A fuel cell can create electricity to power the airplane as long as we have fuel. Fuel cells can already offer competitive advantages. There is less noise and vibration, so the aircraft can fly lower and use cheaper cameras. And there is less thermal signature, so it's more difficult to detect the aircraft. There is uh, increased endurance with respect to battery power UAVs, and there is increased reliability with respect to internal combustion engine power UAVs. We make sure that we don't produce any emissions during the flight but we don't produce any emissions while we're generating the fuel, so it's completely sustainable. The idea is to have a totally autonomous system that can work in remote areas where there is no electricity and no water supply. We started this project many years ago, and at the beginning it was like a dream, but now that we have progressed and we have achieved so much, we can actually see the system working. We have developed technologies through prototypes that we may see uh, put into a product in the future.